This is the Bidi Bidi refugee settlement in northern Uganda. A year and a half ago it was mostly bushland, with a few scattered villages. Today, more people live here than in the whole of Galway County, more than 280,000, making it the largest refugee settlement in the world. Most of the people come from South Sudan, just over the border, where a civil war has been raging since 2013. For many, hopes of returning home are fading. Instead, they're training in new skills and trades with the help of aid agencies so they can better take care of their families. David, a former laboratory technician, is training in farm skills in Bidi Bidi. Along with his mother, he takes care of his younger siblings, as well as fostering other children. To start, was, it was not easy, because something that I was not used to. So I just came slowly, slowly, but I said, now, even if you say it is not, it's not easy, now what, what else do you want to do? Nothing. Is it easy to just stay and eat with these beans and maize you and it's giving, or you do something so more? so that you'll be able to change something for your family. I'm also keeping four orphans here, given to me by World Vision. I'm taking care of them, <clears throat> because they lost their parents, so they told me to foster them. We actually came with the, their parents, they were given the other plot, but they just told me they would be going to harvest maize and peanuts back there. So when they went there, they were all killed. Killing, I think, in South Sudan is just like, either you are an old one, you are young, you who, as long as you're a human being, bullet cannot really be say, this is a kid, let me live, no? Anything can happen and, yeah. You know, in life, with you have options. If a, B, a, a fails, then you move to B. And if B also is not all that good, you move to C. 25-year-old Jacqueline has been learning tailoring and has set up a small business selling clothes to local Ugandans. I come here with my children, my husband, I come with two children of mine and my dad and my father, my mom. They are in Sudan, I'm a businesswoman. I used to sell greens and uh, peas, dry peas, baga peas. Just in the market, I'm busy there in Sudan. I'm sewing the, nani, the clothes, these clothes here. I just borrowed the money from somebody as a capital. I went up to Yumbe to buy these clothes and some people can come and buy and sew for them. We hear gun sword. And my brothers also, some people suit, some people was cutting with the pangas and then ran out. And my brothers and my father. That war is dangerous. Now I leave my work, I go to do that training. And now my life is somehow there. Luna, a former community development worker in South Sudan, works as a village leader in the settlement. She and her family were forced to flee their home after gunmen laid siege to their village. When this war broke out, it even found me when I was cooking uh, this rice for my children to take tea, and they started shooting. We ran to the church. When we arrived to the church, the, uh, the this, uh, soldiers come there. They pick even a certain teacher. They kill him in front of us like this. It was buried. Then he, that one is scared us totally. The mad people are killed. You see, somebody who is mad and having that trauma. Why are you all killing him? They sued and they burned all the houses in South Sudan. We came without. During our process of coming, children die on the road. A lot of people, even these the elderly people, they are not able to reach here. Others die even in the road. They are drawing something like guns, like a, this or bow. They want to shoot somebody. You see, they are even practicing what is being, being done in South Sudan. Even sometimes they can make a sound of a gun. Do, 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 do. You see, it is really uh, a very bad image and they can't forget about all these things. I, being a leader, I am just uh, looking after the community. There are cases of SGBB, we address all these cases and we have uh, cases of those who miss uh, put, they come to us, we, we, uh, we give recommendation, they go to OPM, then the names are given so that they receive food. I like my work because this is my people, so if I'm not there, they cannot know where to go. So we are, uh, we are, I'm elected because they are the ones who elected me. I have to do work for them. Yeah, it is a sacrifice to work to your people. When asked what hopes she has for the future, Lona has this to say. To have peace and go back and uh, maybe have our children get a proper education so that next time they will be able to handle themselves. Mm -hmm.